Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Revolt JB ROM for your AT&T Galaxy S3. So you basically get features from Cyanogen Mod, AOKP, Paranoid Android, and they throw in some of their own features. So guys, enjoy the video, and this is a really interesting ROM, so definitely check it out. So as I said guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the Revolt JB ROM for your AT&T Galaxy S3. So sadly it doesn't support any carriers yet uh, except for the AT&T S3. It actually does work on the AT&T, T-Mobile, and um, Canadian S4s. S um, sadly the camera doesn't work on those yet, but it does work perfectly fine here on the AT&T S3. S3 variant. So uh, it is very very fluid right off the bat. You'll be able to tell that it is a very fast ROM. So as I said before it is called Revolt JB. So I'm just going to pop up into the settings right now. And uh, one of the great features of this ROM is that you get a lot of customization. So you basically get, as a lot of ROMs are doing right now, you get AOKP Cyanogen Mod and Paranoid Android all mixed together. So we can go right here about Revolt. Uh, as you can see we have Cyanogen Mod, AOKP, and the developer of the ROM. You could donate to all of them and follow them on Facebook and you could find their website. If you go on About Phone there will be a huge Revolt JB thing right here. <laughs> Just to kind of let you know if you missed it that you are running Revolt JB. Here we have Android version 4.2.2 of course and we do get one of the latest kernels 3.4.45 so this is a version or this is a nightly so uh, still pretty pretty early but I haven't ran into any problems yet so uh, let's get into some of the settings of this ROM starting off with AOKP of course we get our usual ROM control that you're all probably familiar with if you've been watching my videos so you get to customize all the good stuff like toggles and um, LED sound vibrations. If we go into general UI, you could uh, change different rotations. So if you enable 180, you could basically flip our phone upside down and it will still work as you can tell. So just a nifty little feature that you get, uh, kind of a bonus thing from AOKP. Uh, we could actually customize our CRT animation. So we could change it to portrait vertical. So basically, instead of locking like that way, it'll lock like this. So looks pretty nice. You could, of course, as I said, change whatever you want there. We could also add enable kill all button. Basically, if you hold that home button, you could go here and kill all your running apps. Easier than just swiping them all the way. So uh, let's go back to the main settings. Uh, we do get theme manager. So you can install themes from the Play Store and uh, enable them here. Uh, you just search them up in the Play Store, AOKP or Signage and Mod Themes, and you'll enable them obviously through here, as I said. So let me get into kind of our Revolt customization. So if we open this up, you can see it kind of looks like the root box settings. So uh, you get a lot of extra features here. If you go into Pi Controls, of course we can enable Pi Control. And I think we're all familiar with this by now. A feature from Paranoid Android originally. And basically if you swipe up, you get these quick settings and your notifications that you could easily access. And you could change the style, the gravity, all the good stuff there. So let's just head back right here. We can enable expand desktop. So basically if you hold the power button, we could expand the desktop. That will get rid of the status bar to give you some more screen real estate which I find a must-have feature for any ROM. So we could actually change the font size, which is really cool. You could uh, change it to 80%, 100% as it is right now, or 120, and you'll just reboot it and it'll do it for you. So I found that a really cool feature, especially if you need to see bigger stuff and you can't see such small words or letters. So uh, for the lock screen and notification area, we could actually add shortcuts. So here we're in the lock screen. We can choose which shortcuts we want to add. Let's add clock. And so now if we lock the screen, 
you have a clock right there and you could easily click on that and it will take you into the clock so you just click on it and unlock so we head back here uh, we could also customize the screen security of course here we could customize the C clock which is the custom cyanogen mod widget uh, which is a clock obviously for your home if you want to do that and uh, then we get notification shortcuts same idea as the lock screen you enable it you could add shortcuts here you could actually change the color of the icon right now I have it set as white so if I swipe down there's a little clock right there that I could go into the settings for so if we go back settings um, that's basically it in there and of course we could also customize our power widget here if you want so here we could change the DPI basically you could change it between tablet mode and uh, phablet mode I suggest I don't think you really need this since you do get hybrid settings so unless you want to I suggest leaving that alone for now so let's go into hybrid settings and this is where you get your paranoid Android stuff uh, you can basically just click which UI you want. So I'm going to choose Fablet right now. We're going to enable that by clicking Apply at the top. It'll quickly reboot um, just your launcher. So now we're going to, as you notice, there's a navigation bar down there. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Interface. And we're going to take the navigation bar right here and move it all the way to zero. Click Apply and that will take away your navigation bar down there and as you can see now we do get the phablet mode right here so a really cool feature to have you can change the color of the status bar when it goes into different apps and you could choose even PA colors which will kinda of do it randomly for you for some apps and when you enter them the notification bar will change colors status bar whatever you want to call it so as I said guys you do get a lot of a lot of settings in here also at the same time it's able to stay fluid and you get a really good experience I'll have uh, the link to the portal down below so you can check out all the features that you get as I'm sure I missed some of them there are a lot of features and guys uh, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this also do make sure to hit like if you enjoyed this video follow me on Facebook and Twitter just phone tech kid phone tech kid I'll have links down below and also check out my website www.phonetechkid.com so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching